All right, what is up, everybody? It's Lids, and we are back for some more Witcher. And last time around, we saw... Well, let's see. Am I getting myself mixed up here? I might be thinking back two episodes. We made our way into the crypt and cleared out that area. I mean, may or may not have uh, died in the process, but uh, we were ultimately successful. And we also recently, again, I can't remember if this is actually the most recent go-round, or maybe the one previous to that, but we've, uh, run into some interesting developments with regard to, uh, the beast and who's really behind some of that stuff. Uh, hint, hint, wink, wink, if you haven't caught up on those episodes. Okay, I thought we were passing by the house that was uh, very relevant for that stuff, but uh, no, not at the moment. The other thing we did was we fought off some salamander myths. No, not amphibious lizard-like. Are they amphibians or are they reptiles? I'm not sure. I think they're amphibians, but anyway. Um, did manage to fend them off successfully when they attempted to attack the Alchemist and the front gate of Vizima, if I'm thinking correctly, the name of the town. Am I going in the right direction? Because I'm kind of autopiloting at the moment. I am. Okay. So I was thinking that we would go quickly to the cave because at the moment at least, we actually still have the cat potion. We have this... Dominant Negredo, which I don't even know where we got this from. Is this a potion? Was this a level? I'm not sure. And then... I think this is from a place of power, which we are also about to pass. But I think with all those buffs up... Uh-oh. This might be a good time to quickly run into the cave and see... Okay, we don't need that and see if we, uh, well, can benefit from still having those power-ups active and use them to complete whatever the heck is in this cave. Because people were hyping it up a little bit, making it sound like it was very dangerous. We have been here before, but I wonder if there is actually something else we can do here. What did that do? Hard sign intensity increased by 50%. I'll take your word for it. Was that the place of power? I thought that might have been something else. Oh, past the place of power. Okay, I think we do still have the place of power's effect active from the previous one that we activated. Oop. Just before heading into the, uh, into the crypt. So I'm not too worried about that. But I have no idea what's in here, because I don't think that we have done anything here yet. I don't think we poked our hand in. I know we... Did a little bit of that for the crypt in advance. A little bit of reconnaissance, but not this time. Given how our initial effort in the crypt went, you'll excuse me if it seems prudent to save here, but I think it is. Again with the dragon. Again with the intense music. Definitely not nervous. Check the map. See if we can figure out. Oh. Well, that's useless. All right. Sort out. Uh. Okay, let's just go to the fireplace. I, I was suspecting we might find the Witcher in here. The other Witcher. Don't know. Heard that. Eh. Uh, all right. Whoa, if we weren't creeped out, we're creeped out now. Okay. Of course you check out the mushrooms. All right, they generally just have the same crafting materials we are used to find. Okay, please, Carol, sort out. Okay, I'm going to continue to check the map like a scary cat. You know it is completely useless. Um, uh, 
don't think I did that, but okay. Um, I would think it might be something we could do this. Help push. If we can't, I'm a little confused. One could potentially stay at the fireplace. But you'd excuse me for thinking that this might not be the best place to linger. Apparently we do have new talents acquired, but this just doesn't seem like a great idea. Supposedly this does signal when there are nearby monsters lurking, and it doesn't appear to be going crazy, but I'm a little confused as to why we are uh, not able to find anything in here. I would have thought, similar to what we encountered in the crypt, that we would have been able to push that stuff aside and make our way through, but... For whatever reason, that doesn't seem to be working. So, I don't know if I'm messing something up there or what, but we'll meditate for an hour. We might lose some of these things. We'll still have the cat up. We'll just barely have the blessing of air. Just barely have the ritual of magic. We will lose the dominant negredo. I don't know if uh, anyone can come up and sneak up on us as we're meditating. We're just sitting duck for an hour. Sort out immediately, please. I already don't remember which way we came in from. Nothing when we do this either. But yeah, consider me confused. That is the, the new way. Those look like Buck Skull. Alright, we gotta chill with the music. You are freaking me the heck out. In the air either? Alright, I don't know if we're gonna run into something as soon as we exit here. No. But I am still confused. I am definitely still confused, and I will de-stress by picking flowers. Because what else would you do in this situation? Alright, hold on. Let's read this journal again about what we're supposed to do in the caves. Not this. Not this. Not this. Not this. Not this. The cavern beneath the city walls. So one other thing. It is maybe worth acknowledging. Is that if we look at the cave. It does appear that there is another side to said cave. Presumably if you could make it all the way through. You would end up over here. And so I wonder if technically. Although we did get the quest. I assume somewhere in the inn or hereabouts on this side, not actually in the city of Vizima, but in the outskirts of Vizima, it may still be that we actually need to go in and complete the quest from this side of the cave. Maybe, maybe not, but I mean, let me know if I'm doing something wrong there, because it appears as though there's some stuff blocking the way, so I tried to use our sign and blow it open. Make a way for us to pass through, but for whatever reason, that did not seem to work. It does look like it's starting to get a little bit late. Five o'clock? Okay. I don't know. Are we in the middle of the summer here? Winter? When does the sun set? Probably be setting fairly soon. Alright, and I think we probably ought to be headed toward the reverend slash the chapel, which I suspect will mean that we are uh, set to have our primary quest stuff move along quite a bit because if you remember from just going through those uh, quest things briefly there, there were a lot of things that uh, required going to the Reverend and or the chapel. So I think we're expecting to get some pretty major updates there because 
it does seem as though Reverend, Abigail the Witch, Alvin, all those people know a lot more than they are letting on about what's happening with the beast. And in fact, many of, or some of them, may even be harboring or encouraging or directing the beast in one way or another because they said, ooh, hello, birds. They said the witch's beast, something along those lines at one point. Alvin did when he was in all possessed mode. So the militia are out. I think the sun is about to set. Reverend is here. Excuse you? Speak quickly. Alright, what do you have for us? Auto inheritance monsters are gone from the pool. I cleared the crypt of ghouls. So we can go the we helped out everyone route. Or we can go the beast route. I think we probably start out with the we helped everyone route. Because that's less likely for him to be like, oh yeah, by the way, I was, you know, leading this whole thing from the get-go and I actually hate you. And uh, by the way, there's the beast directly behind you. It's going to kill you now. Odo's and Heron's monsters are gone. For Mikkel, I cleared the crypt of ghouls. I must okay. admit I'm impressed. You may yet defeat Salamandra. To do that, I need to know where to find them. I will say nothing until you eliminate the beast, Witcher. That is my condition. That is confusing, though, that you do still want us to get rid of the beast. I don't know if there's some elaborate scheme there in which, yes, you're technically behind or very closely involved with it, but at the same time, you do benefit from it, even though you're telling me you want me to get rid of it. You're trying to frame me in some way or another. I, I know, know where the beast comes from. Was it summoned by the witch? The beast sort of. appeared because of human wickedness. To slay it, I'll need to identify the guilty. There may be wisdom in your words. When sheep run astray, the good shepherd must bring them back onto the righteous path. Otherwise, they fall prey to wolves. I'll learn all I can to defeat the beast. I must gather all the villagers. Here's your prize, Witcher. Two hundred arms. I've it's... done all you asked. Where's the Salamandra hideout? Go to the inn. Where a group of Salamandra's service has taken over. They hide in the old house. Hmm. Olaf will have the key. And Witcher. Yes? Nothing. May hmm. the eternal fire shine. I have something soul. important to tell you. Tell the villagers hmm. to stay Never mind. home now. I don't want anyone getting hurt. Okay, so we got some monies. Or I tend to sell Nandra. Hold on. Right to trust my gut feeling, the villagers knew the location of the Salamander hideout, and it seems the bandits extorted protection money from the locals and carried off their children for some unknown purpose. Ugh. Okay, that doesn't sound good. They're not faced in the outskirts. I sense I'm going to face a large and well-organized group, but now I must penetrate the Salamander hideout in one of the abandoned houses. I must enter Salamander hideout located in one of the abandoned houses. I thought I saw something else, though. It was saying before I do that. I think that will sell my salamander. Some things I need to like all these three three things involve fighting salamandra. Wait on all this other stuff? I haven't found these people. I haven't found the guy in the cave as we were just discussing. I haven't found the witcher, as we were just discussing. The other witcher, not us. But I suppose, nothing else to do but to head back to the village, the other village, in the outskirts. One with the inn. They really need names, okay? And I am expecting night to fall fairly soon, as we were saying earlier. So we might start to run into some rabid dogs and things of the like. So, yeah, I mean, I'm expecting, based on that description there, that we are likely to run into a fairly large resistance force. I mean, I was kind of suspecting that we might even fight the beast right there in town. Or, again, the other pseudo-town. I know it's technically still the outskirts. Which way? Here. Oh, it actually is. Was. I think maybe we were highlighting. Okay. 
But it seems as though it may not be the beast this time. It may be. It may surprise us a little bit. And yeah, actually, the beast is over there. They're coordinating with Salamandra, but at the very least, it seems like we are going to run into, as the quest is saying, a lot of enemies here. So, who knows how tough this is going to be. Will it be as tough as fighting three ghouls simultaneously? I hope not. Because, uh, well, you know how that went. That's the abandoned house. Or maybe it is the abandoned house that we're supposed to visit. But we may... Now, oh, night is falling. We may need to hear from the people in the town first, namely the innkeeper, and then seek out the specific house. I don't know if everything is going to happen in the inn itself. Anything else of note here? I don't think so. It looks like everyone is headed in for the night. Whether or not that's because we just told the Reverend that people ought to do that. Uh-oh. Looks like Shawnee's in trouble. Hello. No! Leave me alone! Ooh, little dove. Cue us a different tune. <laughs> Keep your hands off me! She is feisty. Say, let's do what we did unto Mickle's girl, Ilsa. What a screamer. Ooh. <clears throat> do you know you what happened to her? He likely told you to wait like us. Let's have our way with this little chicky. It so happens that this lady is with me. None of you will touch her. I mean, we so have beat up half of you before. We aim to have our fun and you won't stop us. Is that so? You bastard. Whoa. Hello. All right. All right. Bear in mind, Johnny can be killed, presumably. I would really like to defend her off. Protect her. All right. Also, attacking. Attacking would help. Right. Please, please don't attack Johnny. How's Johnny doing? Don't see your health bar, but there's only one guy left. How are you doing, Shawnee? Don't see your life bar still. Looked like it was pretty full. Okay, so I don't think we're in immediate don't, you danger of losing in time. her. Are you all right? I am now. They surprised me. All the peasants ran out, and I was trapped. They killed the innkeeper. Oh, is that That's one of those the guys with the innkeeper? Anyone. That was some swift sword work. As for me, I'm done delaying. I need to get to Vizima. I hope to see you there. Let me walk you to the gate. These roads can be dangerous. No, you need, need to do this at Salamanders. night. Don't worry, there are Vargas. I'll wait for you here. Make them suffer, Geralt, for me. I'll come back for you, Shani. I'll be waiting. The but... innkeeper. Yeah, okay, who was? Check his pockets. I mean. Maybe not the first thing you should say after having killed him, but you also probably aren't wrong. Also, Shawnee, don't, don't guide me. Also, I'll wait for you. There we go. The key to Salamander's hideout. It was you all along. I need to go. Okay, well, we don't exactly know where that is at the moment. We have not seen a heavy club before. Nor have we seen a heavy normal iron axe. So there is potential here if we wanted to get rid of a normal axe. I'm assuming iron axe is probably better, except it won't let us rip it. Oh, hold on. Drop item. That's what I wanted to do. I want the Tamarian Iron Axe. I'm still not allowed to take it, question mark. Yeah, I don't understand how exactly it works picking up weapons. Because it seems as though I would have thought they could fit into your inventory and you could stockpile weapons. That does not seem to be the case, or at least you need to, like, reorganize your inventory in one way or another to make room for them, or... I was assuming there that you had to actually get rid of whatever you had equipped and uh, basically just equip it directly. 
as one of your weapons in order to um, hold on to it and change your weapon. Now, uh, well, I've seen your establishment no longer has an owner, so uh, shall we open up shop? Maybe not. Okay. So, uh, think. Have anything else to say, Shani? Unlikely. Go. Okay. So I believe it's gonna be night now. Close to it. Is it? Thirty. Okay. Might have a little tiny bit of life left. Life. Hopefully, we have a lot of that left. Light left. Uh, do we know where the hideout is specifically? Be there now, find the... Or go there now, find the bandit leader. We know something about the stolen secret. Johnny Thomas, wait for me. In the key to the hideout, that's where I need to go, but where is it? Okay. Um... I am curious, given how we likely walked past that building many times, what the deal is there. Okay, you please take out your sword. You insist we do not. And also, this is the wrong direction. Where is it? Hold on. Path curves! It's confusing. Okay, so we actually need to go right, and then we'll loop around a little bit. Can't go straight through here. That is probably the house. But we just can't cut across those fences. Probably meant to keep ox and cows and goats and sheep in their place, but uh, also very effective at holding back witchers, of course. Well understood fact. Okay. I don't remember when exactly we'll need to turn. But it looks like we're headed in the right direction still. Yep, there it is. Okay, and I'm uh, noticing some salamandra dudes. So this is about to get spicy. Hey friends! How are you? Where's your tribute? What tribute? I mean the kids, fool. Let me pass. No tribute, no entry. This is pointless. Oh, dear. Yeah. Okay, I tried to tell you to take out the sword, Carol. You're dead. Am I, though? I mean, I suppose we're about to find out. You seem exponentially faster than that. That was group stance. Switch to quick stance here. You are still very dead. Any other friends? I mean, I'm sure you will have more. Like here, we're not going to take the dagger because we already have one slash. We can't hold it. But I will take all the other stuff. Pretty sure I misread that as Salamandra's Dust before. In the previous episode. I would just like to point out that the Salamandra guy dropped it, so it absolutely is Salamandra. No. This building? Or is it the one over here? I think it's the one over here. This is also the one they were guarding, seemingly. Yeah, it does say Salamandra hideout. Um, and the music took a little while to kick in, and we also took several hits before uh, Geralt was willing to take out his sword. But one of these guys is down. So that's the boss. Okay. Noted. Uh, we are about to die, also noted. Um, probably should have not walked in here when we had, like, half HP. Um, so this might be too slow. We might have needed to put this stuff on in advance, and we probably should have anticipated this. Um, so we could use a swallow. But remember, this does not heal us instantly. Die, swine. Like, this very well could work. Oh, yeah. Gotta take a piss. For them, I mean. Like, they very well could kill us. So, uh, I don't know where we last loaded. Saved, I should say. Apparently this auto save. And as for where exactly that will be, we shall see. 
Also, I mean, may have made some sense to save in advance, all that stuff, but... So be it. Okay. We know what we're doing. We know what to expect. We also know how to die in that encounter, but that's beside the point. So it is over here, and... So I'm trying to think of what we ought to do differently. I mean, again with the signs, I did try to use one briefly. One. Like, right now, it's not letting me use it at all. Doesn't want to pull out my sword. We don't get that. Like, Geralt, we're not playing a pacifist route right now. We're gonna fight these guys. You know it, I know it, we all know it. It's like, if you could take out your sword, that would probably make this a whole lot easier. Or maybe we bring the children this time? No. Let's not do that. I think we know what, Where's what happens. Where's tribute? What tribute? And it's not good. I mean the kids, fool. Let me pass. No tribute, no entry. This is pointless. I'll kill you! Almost like the sword that I don't want to pull out. Okay, really? Apparently you need to press the attack button first. Okay, so at the very least, I think we will wait long enough in between these fights to regenerate some of our life before we step into the building, because that is definitely one of the things that we did wrong. You know, whether that's from using a potion or just waiting it off, allowing ourselves to regenerate a little bit. Either way, we just don't want to go in there when we're already pretty hurt. Like right now, we're at half HP. Oh, I'm just looking for the coins. Just looking for the coins. I dropped different stuff this time. Imagine that. He did not drop the salamander stuff this time around, so uh, he's a phony. Okay, so I think if we wait long enough, we basically get a big boost of the regeneration. Am I right in thinking that? Maybe. Possibly. I do see our health bar moving up very slowly at the moment. But, are there any other potions that we ought to consider? Let's at least take a look. Journal. Not the journal. Alcohol. That's not really what we're looking for. We could quickly eat some food, but, I mean, that's mostly just question of how patient are we. Mostly looking for not the food itself, not the health potions, but things like what we did when we were heading into the crypt that would make us more powerful. Ooh. Put this anywhere? Because, I mean, that would potentially, I would have thought, have been a symbol that might have uh, allowed us to say, yeah, we, you guys, don't worry, you don't need to fight us. But uh, clearly that did not work. I do kind of wonder what's in here. So, I mean, it does appear as though the only potion we have working on our favor at the moment is a life potion. But I will save for that actual encounter in case we want to actually use it on fighting these guys. But, uh, so we'll wait it out for a second here. Maybe pick some flowers in the meantime. Because everybody knows it has a natural healing quality. You know, along with sorting through corpses and all that stuff. Pretty sure we've seen this one. Yeah. They just kind of lie around a little bit. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, there is this thing. I'm not necessarily sure it's going to be a difference maker, but it does give us a little bit of a boost of some variety from one of our signs, which again... Signs seem really inconsistent here. <laughs> I don't understand why I seem to only be able to use them sometimes. Like, I'm pressing one and two at the moment, which are supposed to be the things that allow us to swap between our signs, and it's not doing that. And even during combat, don't seem to be able to use them. I mean, maybe in combat, you know, you need to wait a little bit for you know, not being in mid-sword swing to actually use said skills. 
I guess I could understand that being a thing. But, I mean... I think you'd still be able to do it. For the most part, we just haven't been able to. Okay, so we're almost on full life. I'm gonna pick a few more flowers over here. Maybe, if there are any. Of course, there are not. So let's just do some quick reconnaissance here. We can see that they have... What is that? Is that a boulder, or is that hay? Is that... compost? Manure? Some questionable decisions as to what they're doing with their land. But, you know, Salamandra, it's just kind of their style sometimes. Okay. Not quite full life. I'm gonna save here before we head in, because, uh, well, I mean, we may or may not have known what happened last time. But, uh, then we will pop in. So, let's do it. Save real quick. Just in case. Then, I mean, like, for example, now I would love to pull out my sword. Can we do that? I, I don't want to be in non-combat mode. Because last time we went in here, we spent, like, 30 seconds, seemingly, just waiting for them to wail on us before we actually took out our sword, which was not great. But if you insist, you know what's going to happen. Start swing. Start swing. Uh, well, or or instantly leave the building because you were pressing the click button. Okay, come on. Like right now, I would like to use a sign, but you are not letting me, and we are already down to half HP. So this doesn't look great, and I wonder if we actually ought to go back to town, craft some stuff. We actually use a sign. There we go. Oh, no. oh, we got rid of one of them. We might have also gotten rid of him. Not sure. We have not. We've knocked him down. Okay. You are dead. You are not dead. You are the leader. Let's not use group stance. You are dodging way too much. I attempted to use a sign, and it failed miserably. Alright, are you serious right now? Okay, I'm going to use our Swallow Potion, and I mean, may still be too late for that. Uh, may or may not have swung and miss on a few too many occasions. There, where is the potion? This? Okay. Alright, if you just, uh, like, let me heal for a split second here, that would be awesome. He is kicking in a fair amount now. Probably should actually use the heavy stance on this guy, because I'm not sure we're doing much here, but... He's not dead? Question mark? Or maybe he is? Okay, so we did spend a, a life potion in order to finish this guy off, but I mean... Oh, that door. I mean, if you saw what happened last time round, then I think we will take that. And yeah, we're mostly just not picking up the weapons. I think it's fine. Because, as we have previously said, it seems as though, for whatever reason, that's not so much something that we can actually quit. Flash, do anything with. So, I mean, gotta be this, right? Those crates look familiar, like Heron's goods that I saved from the Drowners. The mm. son of a bitch is trading with Salamandra. Yep. Okay, but I, I thought I clicked on the trap door, not on that stuff. Ah, uh, okay. Is this go- Oh, this goes into the cave. Um, now you'll have to excuse me. As I quickly search our inventory, slash, check if we still have the cat potion up. Check if the cat potion. Because we do not. Seems 
problematic at the moment because I'm assuming this cave is going to be dark. And yes, we could theoretically use a torch, but I think, at least from my early experience, it seemed as though that was maybe not the best way in which to do this. So I think if we do not presently. Get up there. I need another way out. Oh. Uh there are several guys here. Noticing other people with the name Assassin Boss. So uh this doesn't look like this is gonna go very well. But uh then again, we can actually see, so maybe we don't need said potion after all. So here goes nothing. Maybe if we come at them with a the sword, they won't try to fight us. That's how peace works, right? You took your time. You have something of mine. No longer, I'm afraid. And you, like your predecessor, you work for rapists and murderers. Enjoying it? Where's Berengar? That dolt ran off. But during our brief acquaintance, he was certainly more talkative than you. No he barely gave me given the chance Azar to talk Javid's persuasiveness. Who is this guy? Who's Azar Javed? A powerful mage. You're no match for him. We'll see. Your courage isn't lacking, Witcherette. We'll what see you how fair after Azar gets you. Did you say I work for murderers? That lice-ridden village hick Odo came to us for advice on how to kill a warrior. We hmm? said someone so pathetic could only fight soldiers in dreams. This is a scintillating conversation, but it's time for some action. Okay, so we do we want don't to fight these guys. What you seek. Maybe? It's not here. They took it straight to our base in Vizima. What is he referring to? Oh, the stuff. Dance. Stuff they stole from us. Okay. Assuming we're going to want to do some of that. Oh, I jumped the gun there. Okay, hold on. I'm assuming, uh, I think we do still have one of these swallow potions. Okay, please attack. Please, please attack. Challenge the Salamandra. Okay, do some of that. Try and not to... Oh, also, I'm not in group stance. My bad. Now I am. Alright, I'm gonna swallow potion now, because I think we need to anticipate that more so than we have in the past. I think we have one left to do. Okay, also start fighting again. I think we have at least one down. Maybe two. This one directly behind us is not dead, notably. Okay, now it is just this guy. Right, switching stances. Did we need the life potion? I mean, Probably. We might have been able to attack a little more regularly if we hadn't used it. Oh. Did not expect to see you here. That Did not realize that. Sword work. Alvin, why are you here? My the thoughts exactly. Me to this deserted house. What the heck? I said someone would be waiting there for me. That son of a... <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're safe. Yep. I overheard them saying we'd be taken to Vizima. To Vizima? That's where I need to go to find Salamandra. Follow me. We'll find a way out of this cave. That wall looks pretty thin. Maybe we can break it down. Let's try. All right. Thank you, Alvin, I suppose, in your own weird way. But also, Reverend, what the heck, man? I mean, as if it wasn't clear enough already. Yes, you are obviously involved in this process. This means Edo as adopted substance significantly increases endurance regeneration. Okay. I mean, I'm going to, like, loop them. Got to loop them, right? Got to loop them. Can't just leave them here. That would be disrespectful. Also, I have already lost track which ones we have and have not looted. Eh. 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 We got that one. I think we probably got this one. But I don't think we got any of this stuff over here. Like, the coffer is probably notable. 
Because it has a bunch of coins in it. Ooh. That also looks good. That also looks good. Also looks good. Oh, I'll leave the door. You already have also the floating skull. How pleasant. You can take those. Apparently. Hello, children. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I suppose we are rescuing just Alvin and not you. But <laughs> my sincerest of apologies. But okay, let's try blowing down this wall real quick. Not bad. Out of curiosity, does this connect to the other little cave that we were trying to go into before? I bet it does. Well, that's where we were. It's another campfire. Cave exit. I mean, it is supposedly a very short cave. Still don't... Oh, there was a campfire in this other one. But... Oh. Of course it's... Of course it's you. This is the other cave we were in. Am I surprised to find you here? Maybe a little bit, but... I shouldn't have been, admittedly. You're gonna summon the beast or something like that now. Why aren't did you? you come here, Witcher? Why are you here, Witch? I'm brewing up another spell. Why? Lots of smoke in your magic. Mighty ingredients make mighty spells. Mighty enough for the whole village. Yeah, Why it's are a... you doing this? Have the a beast powerful enough to Burn take down the whole village. She has summoned yeah. the beast. I must defend myself. With the beast. Men summoned the beast with their wicked deeds. I'm not surprised. Honest Mikkel violated Ilsa. She took her own life. You profited from the poison. Odo killed his brother for coin. The Reverend exiled his daughter when she became pregnant. Now she whores herself in Vizima. Heron sold a squirrel to the guards for gold. You knew but did nothing. They trade their gold for poisons and other potions. No business of mine how they're used. It's clear why the beast. Yeah, but you're still profiting off I their need to expose bad the beats. guilty. Stay here while I speak to those outside. Don't let them harm me. My sins are not as great as they say. Really? Learn for yourself if you like. We're alone. We have some time. Uh, no. No need. I'll speak with the. Thanks beast. for the offer, Miss. But uh, you're not exactly my type, you know. I can't say that I tend to be one to go for the crazy witch ladies who may or may not be trying to destroy the entire town. It's all I have to pass. People waiting for us outside? Yes. Burn the devil's mistress! Oh, okay. Let the bitch die in pain! Excuse you. The witch hides within. Let the eternal fire consume her sinful body, and we'll be rid of the beast. Yeah, except so fast. the beast is she must be judged fairly. Existing that because of all of you. Ruined my life. She cast her spells on my brother. Wanted to steal him and his gold. My brother scorned her, so she did the devil's magic on me. Used me to kill him. The treachery. I came across a doll that resembled you in her hut. I dream of it even now. That is her true. Magic committing the murder. She should die. Oh dear. Brother was a warrior. Nothing but a drunk. How could you have killed him unless he was sleeping? <laughs> I doubt that you'd be able to do it. Or I have no choice to but to believe you. Uh, okay. So, I mean, he does have a point. We did see his voodoo doll, or a voodoo doll, in Abigail's hut. And, I mean, it looks... Pretty suspicious, and in case it wasn't that wasn't suspicious enough, you know the whole like creating a potion to possess Alvin, and then being in the mysterious cave that also was affiliated with Salamandra immediately after we rescued Alvin from being captured from Salamandra. You know the things are not really all lining up in your favor, Abigail. And I know you are saying that these people here were not doing some great things themselves, but you do appear to have been involved in coercing them to do those things in some way or another and so i'm not so sure that abigail is as innocent as she just tried to make us believe she is in addition to her of course profiting off of 
their misdeeds. Uh, I mean, I would like more Your information. Was a warrior. You're nothing but a drunk. How could you have killed him unless he was sleeping? Why listen to him, Reverend? He's a mutant. A f f I do kind of believe you guys. Still. What are your charges, Haran? She she made me a hawker. She p p promised herself to me if I helped the Skoyatel. I detest non-humans, but I had to, to to trade with them. You've done all right for yourself. G gold isn't everything. There are principles to abide by. Okay. You trade with bandits, dude, who kidnap children. You are absolutely not, uh. Not someone who should be playing the, the morality card here. I don't think anyone can play the morality card right now. But it seems like... Okay, so from what I can tell from our previous conversation and how that went with uh, Otto here, basically option one is I don't believe you. Option two is I do believe you. So I did kind of believe Otto, so I probably shouldn't have picked that option. I don't believe this guy as much. I mean, again... You, uh, you don't really have any more ground here. Sorry, buddy. You trade with bandits who kidnap children. I don't believe one word of what you say. Have you made your decision? What do you think, Reverend? The witch used Odo and Haran. She poisoned Ilsa. This one I don't necessarily know. Admittedly, I may not be remembering this as well as I should be, but some people have been saying she poisoned herself. Uh, I think I just don't remember if this is was this Abigail who said this in which case I mean of course she would try to defend herself by saying that but was this someone else oh where did we get this information from I don't remember go on I say reluctantly go on Abigail should have departed long ago, but stayed to exact revenge for the evil fate that befell her. She used the devil's magic on these simple people and summoned the beast. That I do believe. Lead this band of rogues, so you must know they sell children for the salamanders. You do know that. I knew about the rape and murder. They're all the same, all guilty. That is pretty true. I mean, both of these things are true. <laughs> Nobody is innocent here. Um, yikes. Uh, you're all guilty, including Abigail. But who do we dislike more? Um, I mean, Abigail supposedly is the one behind the beast. And I think that is probably... The biggest problem here. I mean, trading with bandits, okay, murdering your brother, and potentially murdering your sister? Girlfriend? Compared to trying to murder an entire city for Abigail, I think I'll take the entire city. But yeah, You're everyone's right, in the wrong here. I saw the doll in Odo's likeness, and the witch offered herself to me in exchange for a favor. You're right. Abigail is guilty. Get her! Let's end this! Let's throw stones at the cave that she's hiding in, because that will definitely stop her. I beg you, help me. It's time, Abigail. They'll kill me. Oh, she. We're gonna turn around and she's gonna be like, surprise, I'm the beast, boom. Let us switch, godless woman, confess. Gaze upon her friends. She is drunk on the devil's herb. The witchery is written on her face. Shut your mouth, Reverend, or you'll taste my steel. Everyone listen, there is to be a trial. A trial, not a murder. I've had enough of your pathetic problems. Not bad. You can wallow in this crap yourselves. Curse you, witcher! I want no part of this. I actually like that result. That's probably the curse best you, of both worlds. Oh, except you're about to. You yeah. You're about to I curse you in the name turn into like the devil the and Black all that Lumba. stuff. We're probably going to have to turn around and resolve this fight because they're all going to try to kill each other right about now. 
or they're gonna kill her. Or the beast is gonna show up right now. Something's gonna happen, right? There's no way we're walking away from that without having to actually confront any of them directly. Hello, Mr. Beast. Hello, ghouls. Hello, empty village. It is burning. Because of the beast. Yes. Hello. Want some tea? Okay, so, uh, you know, the beast is directly in front of us, but unfortunately, uh, I actually need to go, so, uh, <laughs> we're gonna need to wrap up here, so, I mean, a lot of stuff just happened, a lot of stuff is about to happen. So, <laughs> hope you enjoyed this video, we have a lot to look forward to in the next video, including the beast biting us, because that is surely going to be the first thing that happens in the next one, <laughs> but anyways, I will see you all next time.